while drier and hotter weather amid El Nino may impact water supply from the local catchments and imported water, new water and desalinated water are weather resilient sources, said Minister for Sustainability and the Environment Grace Fu in a written reply to a parliamentary question on Tuesday. Workers' Party MP Gerald Jayam Aljunit GSC had asked whether preparations are being made for drier weather, including its effect on water supply here. El Nino conditions have arrived and will likely get stronger in October and November, bringing drier and warmer weather to Singapore then. The weather phenomenon is expected to persist till at least early 2024, with the warmest temperatures potentially being felt from March to April 2024. Ms Fu said. To safeguard water security, National Water Agency PUBE has diversified Singapore's water supply with local catchment water, imported water, new water and desalinated water. PUB has invested and will continue investing for the long term to strengthen our water security and drought resilience amidst the effects of climate change, said Ms Fu adding that about $3 billion has been invested in the past five years. And such investments will continue. In 2016, during a major El Nino period, water levels in Lingju Reservoir, Singapore's main water source in Malaysia, plunged to a historic low of 20%. PUP had previously told The Straits Times, that it will ramp up its production of desalinated water during dry months and also inject more new water into the reservoirs to ensure that local water reserves remain at healthy levels.